So I'm going to show you how to do some curls. Pretty easy. Um, you know, this is just kind of a basic introductory to, to lifting weights. Just going to do some curls here. Um, you know, you always want to have water to drink in between breaks. You know, you want to rest about 30 seconds in between sets. Um, we're just going to get started on curls. So this is, as you can see, it's a 55 pound dumbbell. Um, it's pretty heavy. I never lifted that before. Uh, at least eight times. Until just recently, I decided I'm going to do them eight times, and so I started doing them eight times. You know, that's that's part of, you know, half of weight lifting weights is mental. You know, it's all in your head. You know, sometimes it's good to to get, you know, get in the mood. You want to have a clean area. This place is kind of under construction in the moment, so that's why it's kind of crazy. Uh, you want to make sure you don't have anything around that you can trip on. This this is not a good working condition environment for it. Um, but, you know, it, sometimes sometimes I'll watch movies or something while I'm lifting, something to pump me up, maybe a football game. Um, you know, you got to stay motivated. Um, sometimes you don't need that. You can just motivate yourself. Uh, you can pray. I mean, praying helps. Now, I'm not saying that God cares whether you win a football game or whether you lift weights or not, but prayer works. I mean, I, there's, no, there's no doubt about it. Um, you, you know, it's all about putting yourself in that mind frame and maybe, maybe God gives you, uh, you know, gives an ear to those who are, are reaching out to him, you know, asking ye shall receive, right? So let's, let's just say a little prayer, do eight of these. I mean, I had a long, busy day, worked, did a lot of work, did a lot of lifting, heavy stuff, even went to the pool, swam with my kids. So it's been a busy day. Uh, so I don't, but I gotta be confident. I gotta be confident that I'm gonna get eight sets because if I let any of that affect my lifting, then it's gonna affect my lifting. So I just gotta clear that out. Another technique you can do is you can just count backwards from five, four, three, two, one. You breathe out as you pump it up. I learned from Arnold Schwarzenegger to do that little twist at the end. I don't know if it helps or not, but you you get in the habit of doing it, and it just sticks with you. So there's four. I'm probably not keeping the best for them because these are heavy, and I'm talking, which doesn't help at all. I did six. I probably could have done eight if I wasn't talking. And I probably would have had better form. But, you know, I wanted to kind of show you. When you go up, you know, you, it's good. It helps to flex like that when you get up. You do it really quick, like one second. And you go down kind of slower, like three seconds on the down. When you're coming up, you breathe out hard. And when you see, I'm kind of breathing hard already. I got my, I got my heart rate up. That's pretty good. And probably because I was talking, that's probably why it really, really took a lot out of me. But when you come down, you breathe out, three seconds. And breathing, breathing is critical, so you got you to gotta do that. You know, blow out hard, give it all you got, let it down. All right, thanks. That's all for now, and uh, join me for the next video.